here is our Rover P2 uh, 12 horsepower Tourer, uh, one of just 200 made by the Rover company uh, just after the war for export. Uh, although this particular car uh, stayed in the UK and uh, was sold by Barrett's of Canterbury. Uh, it's been in the southeast of England uh, and Kent in particular uh, for all its life. Um, the colour scheme Slightly unusual to today's taste is the original, although it has been restored and repainted. As you can hear, the engine runs very nicely, very quietly, very sweetly. Uh, correct all pressure. Here is in excellent order, um, it's been re-trimmed, uh, albeit in vinyl rather than the original leather, but it's been done very well. Um, all the correct instruments, um, the Rover freewheel knob on the left there, all pressure is correct for the idling speed that it's at now. Uh, the car's got uh, four very good tyres, quite new. Um, nice Rover badges on the hubcaps, typical Rover spotlight in the centre of the grille. Um, in here, under the dashboard, there's the Rover toolkit, which is complete thing. And the doors, as you can see, are quite large. Very easy car to get in and out of. Very comfortable. Uh, surprisingly good performer as well. The 12 was probably the quickest uh, and most lively car of the, of the P2 range. Boot. Spare wheel, tonneau, and the jack. The hood is all under this movable panel at the rear. Um, there's a budget lock key in the toolkit. Uh, there's a budget lock on either side. Open the locks, pop up the panel, and the hood will lift out. And it stows away hidden and very neat, which is a nice touch. Under the bonnet, I need another hand to do that. So I'll have to do that another time. Anyway, it's all present and correct under there. Um, save that it hasn't got the the uh, Luvax Bijar um, lubrication, chassis lubrication system, and it's also running a Solex carburetor, which quite a few of these cars do.